everyone, Pot I Sam. Welcome to another unboxing. Today we're going to be looking at Alpha Models' brand new Ferrari 812 Competti Zone. So yeah, we built the standard version of this car, if you can call it standard. It is a monstrous car. Um, I think it was the tail end of last year. I did it in that like metallic grey colour, matte. And it was a really good kit. Really interesting one to build. It's right there. Look, there it is. Ta -da! And um, yeah, I always kind of liked the look of this Competizoni one, thinking it'd just look absolutely mental. So when Alpha Model released it uh, a month or so ago, I was like, oh, I have to get one. Have to have to get one. So spoke to Alpha Model. They very kindly sent me that and the Porsche GT3 RS, the new one to review so i'm going to review both of those so you'll get both of them very quick in quick succession and uh, i want to have a look at this more batcher crazy 812 than the standard one because this is like 830 odd horsepower it's like 400 odd thousand pound to buy six and a half liter v12 it's absolutely mental this thing and i think it looks fantastic uh in this um layout that it's got so let's go have a look at the kit let's jump in open the box and see what we've got Right then, so we've got Alpha Models 124 Ferrari 812 Competizone. Um, I've already built the standard kit of this um, a while back. I think it was either, I think it was last year now. Uh, there's a review out on the channel. Uh, this is a different car altogether. This is the lightened, tuned, faster, more crazy Competizone. So I think this thing's like 800 odd horsepower, 450,000 pounds to buy or something stupid. Uh, 6.5 v12 absolutely mental looking thing and uh, i'm so glad that the alpha models released this version because i think this is the better version of the kit so we've got some really nice box art on the front really like that uh side profile there and the side profile there as well so have a look i've been through this kit before because i always check off all my resin kits to make sure all the parts are here when i receive them so we'll just get everything out and then we'll go through. Now, this kit does have something I am very, very happy to see. Because I've been prattling on about it for so long. It's nice to see Alpha Model finally listen and do something about it. So, we'll move all these to one side. And we'll start with the body shell first. So, this is absolutely mental looking, this thing. The standard car is absolutely beautiful. This one, with its enclosed rear window, it just looks epically cool so we've got the floor pan the interior tub there as well and the body itself as always with um, alpha models the resin is it's just flawlessly cast it really is um very very nice quality resin really nice panel lines i know one thing we need to be very careful about chipping them off because they already look like they've been chipped off. Let's have a little look at this. That is not good. Yes, yeah, so I have potentially two chipped off pieces here. Where's the bag that the body came in? Hmm, and they're not in there. Surprise, surprise. So yes, yeah, so we've already got some damage, which is a real shame. It actually does look damaged as well. So yeah, we've got these little bits snapped off here at the side. So whether I can repair them, I don't know. And if not, I'll just sand them flush because, well, I'm not all that bothered. But yeah, we do have a little bit of damage there, which is a real, real shame. Yeah, that is a shame to get that. But no, well, here's what it is. Unfortunately, with resin, it is delicate. I'm not excusing it for what it is. So <clears throat> this is why you should go around check your kits, which I thought I had. And obviously I didn't do a storage job as I thought. I'll go through the boxes and the bags in a bit. If it's not in there, that's been packed like that because I keep all little bits of resin. So other than that damage, the body's flawlessly cast. It is absolutely beautifully done. Panel lines are nice. Uh, the proportions look correct to me. There's some very nice detail if we uh, skip aside those broken bits there. Other than that, the body is uh, absolutely stunning. It's a really pretty car, this one. I did my other one in like a matte silver. I think it was Silverstone Grigio or something it was. It was absolutely beautiful. This one, yeah, I think I've got a colour in mind for this one already. And I'm looking forward to building this one. This one might be coming up to build this soon. Um, we've got the interior tub there as well. 
very nicely cast resin as per usual and the floor pan which has got a little bit of aero on it but nothing really that spectacular to talk about so yeah a bit of a shame about the broken resin yes that is a shame but like i say if we can't fix it we'll just take it off and sand it smooth is anyone going to notice probably do i care not really so it is what it is this was a sample model sent to me by alpha models for review so it's just one of those things i know what will happen if i contact them because i got it for free they'll just tell me to repair it because well they have in the past so i won't even bother if you're a paying customer i would highly recommend contacting them about any faults with the kits and if you get stuck give me a shout because i speak to them quite regularly so the body's back in there there's no bit of resin anywhere and i would have seen those when i checked them off so unless they're in these bags i don't think they're going to be anywhere so wheels we'll go to next have a look so we have a set of wheels in here we've got two sets of tires why would we have two sets of tires because at last alpha model have listened and put tire markings on the tires albeit it's reversed so it does kind of say michelin but it doesn't it's like weird reversed lettering so i guess that's their way of getting out of like the copyright stuff but there is raised lettering on those tires which is really nice these wheels are really pretty as well very very nice really nicely cast little wisps of flash of resin in there but you can soon get rid of those just get a knife or a cocktail stick and just scribe it it'll come off instantly so four nice wheels in there they are they look all the same actually Mm, the back those might be the back ones might be a little bit longer but it's nice to see alpha model finally listening and putting the tire markings on the kits there are spare tires in there as well the actual tire tread is really nice quality as well but it'll focus we're going to get all the tires back out it doesn't so yeah the tread is really nice too nothing to clean up there not sure what's going on with my camera today. It's playing up a little bit. We zoomed in too far. We shouldn't be. Oh, we'll come. There we go. So some nice tread there. Looks really good. So like I say, nice that Alpha's finally listened and started putting um, tire markings on the tires. Like I said, there are other ones. There's no markings on those. So you can pick and choose which one you want to use if you're that way inclined. In here, we've got the rear diffuser, which is a big old beast. We want to look out for bits of resin here as well. So we've got this really nice rear diffuser, which thankfully is not damaged. So real nice chunk of resin there. Very, very pretty. So yeah, beautiful quality. We've got our steering wheel. One of your modern style steering wheels. Very nice again. Beautiful. Then we've got our brake discs. All on there, there'll be resin to go with these. Um, these are some sort of, I'm going to guess they're lights, are they? Intakes? I don't know. What the hell they are? We'll look in the instructions in a bit. Then we've got what looks to be a steering column, some sort of snorkel. I have absolutely no idea what these bits are. There's two of them now. And then we've got what look like lights. Um, other things, I've got no idea what they are. Like I said, we'll go through the instructions at the end. And two panel things, which, again, no idea what they are. But, flawlessly cast in resin, as always. Really well done. That rear diffuser is absolutely stunning. Very, very nice. Now, it's going to need carbon, but thankfully, we have carbon in the kit, which is what Alpha Models have been doing with some of their latest kits, which, again, is another game changer. It really is. Next bag of resin we'll quickly go through. is here so we've got uh like the front bulkhead that will go in the lower chassis of the car we've got a rear something or other that will fit in the car somewhere i don't know where we've got door cards so there's two of these obviously one for each door believe it or not again nicely cast nice bit of detail on there we've got the center console let me zoom in a touch there we go. we've got the center console there nice bit of detail there on the interior 
Um, the other part of the dash and the upper and lower, which I assume will fit in there like that. There we go. There's our dashboard. Fits in there like so. Nice looking dashboard. Nice detail on there. We've got two more wingery things. So again, we've got to refer to the instructions to figure out where these go. And I guess they go on the body somewhere. We've got four calipers here. We've got two odd shaped ones, very odd shaped, as you can see. But the, the detail on those is fabulous. They are very, very nice. Really nice. And then the other ones there as well. All looks to be the same, actually. Yeah, very nice detail on those calipers and what looks to be the bodywork that sits in the top of the bonnet there as well. So again, flawlessly cast resin, really nice detail there. Great looking parts. Pop those in there like so. And pop that out of the way. We've got two more bags in the clear parts to go through. And then all the decals, and there's a lot of decals in this kit. So we've got the seats, beautiful seats. Look at these, absolutely stunning things. Beautiful. There's the seat bottoms there as well. So that was sitting there like that. Those seats are absolutely beautiful. Nice interior on this. It's going to look very, very smart. I do like those seats. They are very cool. So obviously two lots of those. We've got all the hubs for the wheels as well, which you've seen before. We've got a load of other panels here. <laughs> we don't even pretend to know where they go. There's a whole host of them there. We've got more panels here. Stuff that's snapped off. No idea, but all these loose parts here have all fallen off their poor stubs. Fire extinguisher. It's quite a nice little touch. Yeah, quite a nice little fire extinguisher. Uh, another bit there. Ooh, do you know what that looks like? That looks a little bit like the side of that car, doesn't it? Looks like a little piece that came off. Hmm, possibly. We'll have a look later. It does look a bit like it. And then wing mirrors as well. There, nice wing mirrors there. So we grab the body and have a quick look and see if that is one of those parts. It certainly looks like it. So it's going to be anyone. It'd be this one. Let me get my tweezers so I can offer it up properly. It'd be good if it is. Oh, it is as well. Look at that. It is that bit. Of, see, this is why I pick up every bit of resin I find in the kit. So I've obviously found that when I've been going through the kit and through the bags. And it has been a little bit of resin that sits in there. So I have a little bit of CA glue. We'll get that back in there. Perfect. So we just need to find the other piece now. So we're going to pop that back in there. This is why I always say in these reviews, if you watch me review these alpha model kits before, I say if you find any bits of resin, pop them back in the bag because you never know, like this, look, that tiny little bit there. You never know what it is. It could be a switch, a lever. It could be anything. There's another piece in there as well. So, yeah, maybe we did find them when we opened the box up originally. And uh, yeah, there you go. So there's one piece, and that's the biggest side that's missing. The other side's a lot smaller, so hopefully we can find that in one of these bags. But this is why I always say, keep every little bit of resin you find in these kits in the bag, because you just never, ever know. Right, where's that other little bit of resin? No, there must not have been any. I've seen things, I think it was the antennary thing here. So we've got loads of little, they look like air nozzles for the interior. So there's those. We've got some other things. No idea. Absolutely no idea. Tiny, tiny bits of resin. These will be interior parts. There is lots and lots. Excuse my hands. I've been cleaning up my spray booth today, and I'm absolutely filthy from it, even though I wiped my hands down before we started. And uh, like I say, tons of little bits. Tons of little bits. So, yeah, it's a bit disappointing not to find another bit of resin, but at least we got one of them. So we can at least fill that on the other side. What you do is a little bit of uh, artistic license and fill it in. But at least we've got something to follow there. We can see the edge 
and bring it back whereas on that side it was completely missing so at least we've got that one and that one we can fill in our own way so there you go it always pays to keep those little bits of resin i knew i'd have a day where i could be like ha see i told you i always say keep those bits of resin or i might be weird i'm at a stage that i might snap my own model just to prove a point but i'm not that nuts so yeah i didn't do that honestly right so there's those last bag of bits the next bag is the clear resin this is where these kits and my compressor can let me down a little bit so yeah horrible hazy nasty bits of resin I'm just clean it with my t-shirt mm, it's a little bit better but the clear resin really lets these down but the quality of the rest of the resin the clear stuff is crap. It really is a letdown. Um, seen worse. The Porsche we just did, the 992, was a lot worse. These bits aren't particularly nice either. But I just think for a company, it can produce resin of the quality it does. This is a brand spanking new kit. It really needs to up its game. There we go. Look, some more bits broken off. Back in the bag we go. We'll save you for later. There we go. No idea what that is. But we'll go back in the back. And there we go. There's all the parts gone through, other than the seatbelt buckles, which are in there, and the screws for holding the chassis on, which we're not going to bother going through, if we're honest. We've then got a whole host. Look at, all, look at these for decal sheets. So we've got your standard decal sheet there with all your different schemes on. So, yeah, very, very nice. You've got all the seat backs there in carbon. And it is actually carbon decal. So they're all pre-cut. That makes life so much easier. It really does. They're all there. So there's all different schemes you can do. Different colours you can do. Everything there. And just these pre-cut decals alone are an absolute lifesaver. I've been there and cut them all out myself before. So very, very nice. And more so is this one. Look at this. There's all the rear diffuser carbon. Absolutely fantastic. Pre-cut ready to go it's still not going to be the easiest thing in the world to do i would cut that and piece that personally um but everything's there pre-cut so it just saves a lot of faffing around there's some decals for the tires which could be why they give you those other sets of tires you can put decals on should you wish and some wheel markings there as well so this is a huge win um yeah absolute fantastic every alpha models kit should come with the carbon it requires because some of it is very very tricky to do uh, and it's put me off build a couple of kits the sheer amount of carbon i've had to sit there and piece together hundreds of parts um to get it to get together so yeah that is very good to see and then in here we have all our photo etch and a few decals as well so there's all our smaller photo etch seatbelt buckles ferrari logos i'm turning around the right way there we go. Well, you see about buckle, buckles, prancing horses, yada, 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 all in there. You've then got these bits, which are some random grills, and what have you. I'm going to guess they're interior bits because it's just a couple of each one. The photo etch is very high quality. We've got the seatbelt material, which we don't use. I hate these. I use ribbon on mine. We've got the nice nameplate which you get with all the Alpha Models kits, uh, brake hubs, uh, paddle shifters, number plates, and so on. Very, very nice. Like I say, real high quality PE with these. And then we have our larger fret with the window surrounds, floor mats, which is a real nice touch. Uh, Cross-drilled brake discs, loads of grills, window wipers, so on and so forth. Really, really nice. We've got some metallic badges here. These aren't water slide. These just peel off. So you've got your prancing horses, your Ferrari logos, and your mirrors. And then the clear part here, the clear acetate. No rear window on this one. So you've got one less window to screw up. <laughs> That's how I look at it anyway. Um, these take a bit of practice to do. But what, look at my videos on these builds. And I cover and put them in place. So there we go. There's all the bits and bobs. I'm going to pop these back in here. Got the instructions to go through i say instructions in the loosest sense of the term um there are more of a vague p 
part guide. I wouldn't even call them a a build guide. They're not even that. They're just a very vague. Right, here's the bits. Here's where they go. So as you can see, I go through every kit with a highlighter and mark off everything in there. So I know I've got all the parts. So as you can see, a lot of parts of this one. This one is one of these kits that's well worth the money. And the more they bring out, the more they're adding. There's a lot of resin parts. The highest number on there is 87. So you've got 87 resin parts. You've got one, two, three, four, five uh, P sets. Two large decal sets. This one is worth the money all day long, in my opinion. We've got some interior. You can see how detailed the interior is. That's the dashboard alone. Moving on to the seats. Onto the rear diffuser and the back window. Ah, that's what those bits are. The rear window, of course. Seat belts going in. And then on this one, we've got all the brakes going in place. Decal layout. It's an epic looking car, this thing. And then finally, all the finishing touches. These, those ducks, that's where they go. Quack, quack. Um, what on earth is that? Two. Where does that go? Is it glass? Oh, yeah, it is. Duh. It's the glass. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, there we go. That is it. That is everything in the box. It's a shame about the damaged parts. I'm glad we found that larger bit because a smaller one will be definitely easier to repair now for a bit of putty or filler uh probably use CA glue to be honest it's easier to work with it's not excusable to have a kit that costs this much and i'd hope if you bought the kit alpha models will look after you like i say if you get stuck drop me a message and i'll have a word with them um a kit of this quality should have no missing or broken parts and i have seen a few lately that do come with them i got this kit for free i don't bullshit if there's a problem i'll tell you um, they need to help their customers out with the customer base, especially if I'm recommending the kits to make sure that there's any faults on the kits. They follow up and fix the problem because it's unacceptable if they don't, in my opinion. Overall, those are the broken bits. This kit looks fun. It does look really, really good. Uh, I'm going to go back. Uh, go back to me for some final thoughts. Right, there we go. So, right, okay. Really nice looking kit. It looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, the resin. It's flawlessly cast. It's very well cast. Uh, there's some really nice parts. There's a lot of parts in the kit. Some really nice photo etch. Really good decals. To get the carbon decals is a definite bonus. Tire markings, fantastic. The option to put decals on the tires and get an extra set of tires, absolutely phenomenal. Really good. And the kit itself looks brilliant. What isn't acceptable is getting broken parts. It is... One of those things is a bit annoying with resin. It is quite brittle. It does get damaged easily. And like I say, if you bought the kit and you get any broken, contact Alpha Models or where you bought it from and tell them you want replacement parts, 100%. I know I won't get one of this. I got it for free. Luckily, as you've seen in there, we found a larger piece of the resin. So I'll repair the other side. Rather than causing a fuss, I'll repair the other side. But if you're a paying customer, make sure you get the replacement parts because it's only fair that you should. So the broken part aside, the kit looks absolutely phenomenal. I love the look of this thing. It is mental, absolutely mental. I've got the color on my mind already, and I'm due to build another alpha model, so I might well do this one, I think, in the color I've got in mind. I've got a whole collection of these kits, and I love alpha models kits. Um, so I'm really looking forward to starting this one. I'm going to keep my color to myself for now. Um, if you get any ideas on the colour, post in the comments down below. I love hearing everyone's suggestions. Um, but just a great kit. The addition of the um, the carbon decals is just a it's a op when it really is a proper bonus with the kit. And every kit should come with the appropriate decals for the carbon. You're not mucking around around diffusers, cutting thirty odd parts of carbon, trying to get it all to look right. It's just there. And it's still going to take work. Don't get me wrong. Just because you've got to cut out doesn't mean it's going to be easy. Uh, but it certainly makes life easier in the long run. So, yeah. Looks a really good kit. I thank Alpha Models for my free sample. Thank you, guys. Uh, I'm hoping to build this very soon. And the kit behind it, hopefully it's the right way around, which it is, is the Proche 911-992-GT3RS. So, we did the piece of Y kit of this. This is Alpha Models version. So, that's going to get reviewed next 
And uh, we're not going to do a comparison because I've been asked not to do that. Um, but we are going to have a look at what's in the box. And I've already kind of made my mind up on this one. I think the Alpha Mother's kit is going to be better. I was a little bit disappointed by the PZ buy. It wasn't as good as the BMW I did. I don't think it, I think it was a bit rushed. My, my opinion, obviously. Um, so I think this might be the better kit. We'll see. We'll see. So that review will be coming up next as well. So if you want to support my videos, you can become a patron. Link down below. There's a whole host of perks becoming patrons. Uh, early access on the videos. You get exclusive access to the three-part build series rather than the, rather than the condensed one, which goes on ISM. You get added to a Facebook community. You get added to a Facebook chat group where there's like 80 of us in there chatting away. You get an exclusive Friday at the Bench update every Friday over on Patreon as well. You can recommend reviews you'd like to see. You can talk to me in person through the Messenger group. No problem at all. Um, and you keep these videos going without the support of these guys. I couldn't do this without them. So I thank each and every one of you for becoming a patron. And if you're thinking about becoming one, you can become a patron for a month and cancel should you wish. You can have a look where I've got to offer. But certainly come on over and have a look. There's lots of perks for becoming. Even more so now, there's going to be two exclusive patron um, live at the benches. Uh, sorry, live streams on a Sunday and a Wednesday morning. So you can come over and watch them. If you can't catch them live, you can watch them afterwards. But they are patron exclusives. And obviously, thanks to everyone that still watches the videos on ISM. And gives a thumbs up and what have you. Uh, there's links to everything else down there as well. There's a buy me a coffee and a PayPal. Maybe you want to make a one-off donation. Links to ISM, ProScale Paints. Anything and everything to do with me is down in that description. Uh, including my scale mates and an email to get in touch with me should you want to have a chat. So there we go. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up click that bell notification to get notified of the latest videos and please leave a comment let me know what you think of the kit have you built it have you got it are you thinking of getting it and uh thank you for watching today so enjoy the rest of the day everyone take care bye bye